Hello everyone. Welcome to this video on attribute control charts. There is control charts for discrete data. This is in continuation to video 1.8 which was introduction to control charts. Today we will look at four different types of attribute control charts. NP, P, C and U chart. Let's start with NP chart. This chart is used when the sample size is constant and it plots the number of defectives. Defectives here means non-conforming units. Let's quickly pull a sample NP chart. If you look at the y-axis, it shows the count of defectives. To calculate the control limits for this chart, what we need is di, that is the number of defective units in ith subgroup, k, which is the number of subgroups, and ni, which is the sample size of the ith subgroup. Center line of the NP chart or NP bar is equal to N multiplied by summation of DI divided by summation of NI, where I can take values from 1 to K. Upper control limit and lower control limit for an NP chart is NP bar plus minus 3 times the square root of NP bar multiplied by 1 minus P bar. Now moving on to P chart. This chart is used when the sample size varies and it plots the proportion of defectives. As we know defects are non-conforming units. Let's quickly pull a sample P chart. If you look at the y-axis again it shows the percentage of defectives. To calculate the control limits for this chart what we would require is DI the number of defective units in ith subgroup, k which is the number of subgroups, and ni which is the sample size of the ith subgroup. Additionally, pi which is equal to the plot points is di divided by ni. Center line of the p chart or p bar is equal to n times the summation of di divided by summation of ni where i can take values from 1 to k. Upper control limit and lower control limit for a p chart is p bar plus minus 3 times the square root of p bar multiplied by 1 minus p bar divided by ni. A very important point to note here is that in a p chart control limits appear ragged because they reflect each subgroup's individual sample size. So if you look at this chart on the screen, if you look at the upper control limit and the lower control limit, you would see that these limits are ragged. Moving on to C chart now. This chart is used when the sample size is constant and it plots the number of defects. A defect is a non-conformity. So now we know that a defective unit is a non-conforming unit and the defect is a non-conformity. Let's look at a sample C chart. If you look at the y-axis here, it shows the number of defects. To calculate the control limits for this chart, what we need is CI, which is the number of defects in ith group or ith subgroup, K, which is the number of subgroups, and NI which is the sample size of the ith subgroup. Center line of the C chart C bar is equal to the summation of CI divided by K where I can take values from 1 to K. Upper control limit and lower control limit for a C chart is C bar plus minus 3 times root over C bar. Now let's look at the last discrete control chart which is the U chart. This chart is used when the sample size varies and it plots the number of defects per unit. Defect again as we know is a non-conformity. Let's look at a sample U chart now. If you look at the y-axis it shows the count of defects per unit. Control limits can be calculated as follows. We would need CI, which is the number of defects in I subgroup. We need K, we know what K is, that is the number of subgroups. 
we need ni which is again the sample size of the i at subgroup and additionally ui which is the number of defects per unit in the i at subgroup calculated as ci divided by ni center line for the u chart or u bar is equal to summation of ci divided by ni where i can take values from 1 to k upper control limit and lower control limit are calculated as u bar plus minus 3 times the square root of u bar divided by ni an important point again to note here is that in a u chart control limits appear ragged because they reflect each subgroup's individual size or individual sample size this is similar to the p chart for proportion defectives this completes our discussion on control charts for discrete data today. Please feel free to share your suggestions and get back to me with any queries that you might have. You can connect with me on LinkedIn as well. Please do subscribe to this channel to stay updated on new topics for discussion. Thank you so much for your time today. Bye-bye.